for Nakawa Lomeka, Frederick Ruhindi, his elevation to the position of a substantive attorney general is that which many think was long overdue, yet it brings him face to face with an office that has ended the political life of many of his predecessors. He comes to office at a time when his predecessor had a nasty relationship with the speaker, who at the climax of the standoff disowned his legal advice. And as such, it could be politically symbolic that his first public appearance as Attorney General is at the Speaker's boardroom. I think I want to begin by congratulating you upon your uh, elevation to that uh, very, very important uh, position where you, you are going to be advising uh, the 35 million people plus the government. Uh, I only hope that will not take you away from Parliament. You have been visible, you have been active. So we hope that response meter will not uh, uh, take you away from us. Here the speaker delivered her expectations to the new principal legal advisor to government who commands respect within parliament. I expect uh, better collaboration. I expect better collaboration and a better reading of the constitution. With the constitutional requirement of a parliamentary vetting still pending, the head of parliament speaks out on when it should be expected. The announcements were made last night. I have not received the letter. Uh, it's only when I receive the letter that I, I start taking action, but uh, I believe that in the next uh, fortnight or so, because some are old, some are new, so we need uh, time to organize their CVs, distribute them, study them. But uh, with, in the next uh, 10 days or so, I think we should have everybody in place. The man who steps into the hot seat of the Attorney General, however, says he's up to the task that includes re-examining the relationship with Parliament. Me, I believe, is that conflict and disagreement is even healthy. You will never think alike. You can disagree on principle. I think what matters is how do you manage that conflict. Rohindi says his experience has come a long way in standing up to the challenges of the office. It's a challenging task, but I believe with the support of those I work with in the Ministry of Justice, in the Justice Land Order Sector, in Parliament, in the cabinet, all the people who put confidence in me to vote for me in Nakawa, those people that I serve countrywide, with their support, I can't fail. We as well caught up with Dora West legislator David Bahati, who was appointed to the planning docket in the Ministry of Finance, a man believed by many to have been too patient since it has been long overdue. And I'm grateful to God and to the people of Nogo West who elected me to be in, in, in Parliament. And uh, I pledge my commitment uh, to His Excellency the President and the people of Uganda. Other lawmakers, however, have mixed reactions about the new cabinet lineup. I also believe that, um, with the except exception of Professor Tikodri, who was my lecturer, I think the rest of their appointments are political and uh, really with the, the eyes set to the election of next year. As long as the resources are available, there is no other excuse. I do believe and I assure and I promise uh, to work with them uh, for the better deliverance of services to the people of Uganda. Well, to me, first, I don't take cabinet very serious because as to whether they perform, if they were performing uh, on the basis of the uh, expectation of a country, really I would have reason to complain. But these have uh, an individual interest. So he knows why he appoints them and knows why he disappoints them. Many believe the concentration of appointments in the Chigezi region is a ploy to purge former Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi. Uh, and so this, is, this, in my view, is a strategy to try to disable uh, Amama Mbabazi from what would otherwise be his base. The other one is uh, just rewards. These are rewards that have been given to the proponents of uh, uh, the life presidency. So we are not carried by where an individual comes from. Because actually it means nothing, like this one that I've been erecting. My sister Anita, she, she has been the architect of the solo candidate. She has been rewarded. So really, what do you say? My brother Chris, Mario Monsi, Bahati, they know those people from the... Because the other time her mama was removed. No, they had to patch up. Others raised the red flag of what they call the apparent lack of regional balance. When you look at this cabinet, the full cabinet ministers, the majority of them, up to around eight actually come from the Ankole sub-region. And uh, then you have another two or three coming from uh, the Kigezi, in fact, th four coming from the Kigezi sub-region, including the Prime Minister. 
And, and so um, Kigezi and, and Kole put together, get a lion's share of this cabinet. Someone called me from Jinja saying that, look, this is almost, uh, almost more than two thirds of the cabinet is coming from the West. How come that you see for us we are not represented? So I asked him, when I has been a minister, how have you benefited? You are the first, how did you benefit? So we must shift from individuals to policies of government. The reshuffle ended a long period of anxiety that saw many ministers on tension and a number of hopefuls spending sleepless nights. Sabit Joseph, Double Television, Parliament.